Okay, so the ring light is blinding me. I got a headache. Long story. This is the vibe we're giving off. Um, I don't like sitting in the quiet, so I'm going to put some SpongeBob on the background, if that's okay with y'all. I can't see clearly, but the ring light is just, it's just not doing it. And yes, I doubled the glasses. I'm legally wearing it. You guys should care about me a lot more because I actually set up this whole thing for y'all. This ratchet setup. Um, I'm not gonna show you because it takes a lot of time. It's not a computer, a ring light, phone stand, one contraption that I built. Let's get to it. No, this is not coffee for you coffee consum consumers. Uh, you connoisseurs. That's not the right word. Um, it's a Christmas thing and it's root beer. I just wanted to give the illusion that I was drinking coffee for this very funniest video. I can't see, but I really know what's going on. My eyes. You guys are used to more low quality, so. Oh, see, it still doesn't suck that bad. See, I'm not blind. So, the first topic, I actually did make a list here. Because, you know, I can't, um, I just closed out of group store tabs. I have some tabs open. Whatever, let's get into the video. First things first, we should talk about Vlogmas. And while I do that, I'm going to be putting, trying a new makeup look that I literally just did recently. It's a new thing that I came up with. Um, Vlogmas. I actually, you should be proud of me because I actually did the work. I made the videos, but oh, that's bad. I can't see this camera. I. Okay, I'm trying to get into this, but I'm really distracted because by the, I'm trying to get this perfect. I'm not good at makeup. We know this. Um, I. Mm, I think. Uh, I did vlogmas. Not every day. Like I don't think I recorded Christmas. Um, I recorded Christmas Eve. It's good videos. It, the. Mm, I'm kind of winging it because I can't see. Um, and the quality of the videos are okay. I literally am not with my lip whatsoever. Um, so what happened was my Chromebook that I edited on, well, actually, my normal Wondershare. Um, she dipped. She left the chat. And, um, I don't know what to do about it. So, I'm choosing to do nothing because the computer that can, has that. Oh, not too much. It looks cuter when I first did it. Mm, that was too much. It looks bad. When I first did it the first day, it looked good. So, back to Vlogmas, I can actually think. Um, I tried this year. I really did add a buttload of content out. I did one. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because this video is in the editing. And you should expect another video Friday or Saturday or Sunday of me doing my makeup. The lips is. It doesn't get better. I tried it, whatever. It looked good in my TikToks. Okay, so. My neck is. I can't stay on topic to save my life, and I have it in front of me. So, I actually think that's it about all this. I just want to tell you that. I don't have the video up. I thought we should have a little chat. Actually, I'm going to pull up some questions, too, just in case. Um, question. I'm really not remembering how to spell question. Question to ask girls for advice. 
I'm gonna give you guys some um advice. Um, these questions suck. I was kind of thinking. Hold on. I'm gonna answer some of these questions later because I actually am gonna try and. F what is it called when there's a schedule that people have to follow? Didn't the dude say it on the Polar Express? Okay, this TV is way too loud. I don't know if you can hear me. Um. I'm struggling, guys. But the, when I get to the questions, just know I am a, I have been single my entire life. I'm 15 years old. You know, nowadays that's a really sad fact to say out loud. But it's the truth, and I am no liar. But so I can't really answer some of these questions. Um, I'm not a knowledgeable woman. I wouldn't say I'm a wise owl. I wouldn't say I'm wise just in general, not even just in things about women. I wouldn't consider myself the smart one. Um, oh, second channel. I have a second channel. It's a gaming channel. It's, it's more directed towards kids. But the games I play aren't necessarily for kids. They be, they be profaning it up in there. I don't want to mess up my lip gloss. I didn't think this through. Yeah, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it with the second channel thing. Oh, but if you actually do know the second channel... Then I'm supposed to be uploading a video. It's where all of my vloggers' videos are. In holding. Also, um, I'm having a brain fart. Oh, next thing on the list, it says life plan. I really hope this is. Too I never started YouTube for money, and that was never my goal, but now it is, because I'm trying, I'm gonna do a gap year so I can get into college, but mind you, it, let me just say it out, like, so if anyone's actually watching this, they'll have the tiniest bit of sympathy, I'm trying to go to college in LA, you know how expensive it is to live in LA, very, and you know where I live, doesn't matter. Oh, do you like the new setup? Usually when I do sit-down videos, I'm on the other side of the room with the all-white wall and the window. Now I'm with the window. Um, college and life plans can kind of be categorized in one category, so let me delete that so it looks like I have less things to talk about. Um, I'm going to do a thumbnail just because... I did. I did a super cringy YouTuber thumbnail. Um, that's why I paused the video. I couldn't. I couldn't bear myself to do that on camera. You'll see the picture though. Like, I'm doing this for you guys. Okay. So yeah, I I want to go to NIFA, New York Film Academy, but in Los Angeles because my friends told me that I'm gonna die in New York. So I thought I'd be a good friend to decide not to go. Um, I really put this lip gloss on to look a little less ratchet, because I kind of just put this jacket on and called it a recording session. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'm going to call it A with life plans. Oh, I'm going to be an actress, but you didn't do this. But I want to do something that helps people. But I might end up resorting to being a YouTuber my whole life. Oh, guys. Help a little small town girl. Make her big dreams getting into NYFA. It would mean so much to me. I never did this for the money, and I feel bad saying I'm doing it for the money, because I'm not necessarily doing this for the money. Because if I was, I would try harder. Yeah. If I was doing this for the money, we'd have a business going. Consistent schedules. Good thumbnails. Good quality videos. Filming crew. Editor. I could get an editor. This is the best quality we have. Um, I want to show off my new mic. Not this. This is a bad mic that I just, we can use to make me look more official. It doesn't work. That's why I bought the other one that I like so much, because it does work. 
But I'm not going to show you that. That's for later times. Oh, I made a category in here that says random team spelled T I. Ooh, I can't read. Why is that so small all of a sudden? Stigmatism going hard. T I N G Z. Uh, first thing, <coughs> music. I am really obsessed with the songs Lift Me Up, Rihanna, and Golden Hour, Jake. I think that's his name. Um, also, Until I Found You, such good songs. But I don't know if I've ever said this publicly, but I love me some Big Boogie. Y'all are fake. Who's going to tell me that I've been saying John Moran wrong? I thought his name was John Morant until I looked, I like finally searched him up one day and was like, his name is, because Ja and John sound the same when you're saying it like that. John Morant. Ja Morant. I literally just said two different things. John Morant is fine, first of all. Let me pull up a picture for my own personal sake. Mm. Okay, I'm done. I'll stop now. Oh, I'm okay now. Oh, Tom Dea. Um, I was supposed to make a video earlier this week. I kind of did, but I, it was way too late in the night because I was caught up watching Tom Dea. If you're uncultured, that's Tom and Zendaya. They are the reason I believe in love. The reason why I believe in hope and humanity. I believe that if Tom and Zendaya can make it in this world, so can I. So can I. If a girl can get married in jail... So can I. Not in get married in jail. I just mean get married. What's that about school? That's the last thing in this category because I, I've i been talking for 11 minutes. I talk too much. I talk too fast. Y'all thought I didn't realize. I do know. Um, actually, never mind. School, same old, same old, boring. Tell me why my teacher, first day back from winter break, got me doing a project. Huge grade project, too. Not like a little, little, simple project. Like, it's... County assigned project. My brain don't function. My brain's not gonna start functioning until this time next week. It's Tuesday. Yeah. My neck is killing me. Okay, that's it. We're gonna answer some questions. It said, women answer questions men are too afraid to ask. This is from BuzzFeed. I'm just gonna. They have questions up here. They're already answered, but I'm gonna answer them my way if I can. Um, <clears throat> this is what the mic is good for. When you're platonic friends with a man, do you want to be treated exactly how he treats his male friends? Um, hold on. I know what platonic means. I Trust me, I do, but I really need to get the dictionary definition to make me sound smarter. Oh my god, how do you spell platonic? Um... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, never had one of those. I mean, I write stories at the time. Never wrote about them either. I read, I watch TV shows. I heard about them. Seen them. Um, I'm gonna just say yes. Cause I've always been one of the. I've always been one of the men. One of the boys. Um, that's probably why I struggle doing my own hair and my makeup and my nails. Look at this. This hand's okay, but this hand, she was, she was attacked by something. Something. Next question. Oh, yeah, some of these questions is a little weird for you immature boys, but it's okay. You'll get over it. I should make myself look better. Um, whip periods. Is it a gush, a small leak, or more of a drip? every so often for some people it's all of the above me personally i don't know if i want to get in that for me personally um yeah i haven't got that amount of viewers yet to get that personal which i don't feel like this is a family yet if i'm just being real how comfortable is it to i don't wear it i don't wear tampons i'll tell you that i don't care do women put deodorant in their boob pits I do sometimes. Um. Oh, if you don't know, a boob pit is your under boob, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading. When using the bathroom, you see your pad is slightly soiled. 
Does it feel awkward having to put it back against your body? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um. Do you have crushes on random people you encounter that you don't really see anything developing with, like someone you see every day but don't really talk to or whatever, for whatever reason? Like my burrito. Okay, we're not getting into a personal story. Yeah. Well, I'm. I I fall easy. Like I can start a dude one day and be like ill, and the next day I'll come back and, and be like he's so attractive. I think he's my new school year crush. I'm like, stop. Snap out of it. I irritate myself so much. Like, I'm going to go back and watch this video, and I'm going to hate it. Because the way I'm talking, the way I'm talking too fast, that's pretty much what I mean. And the way that I'm at, at my comedic goal, I'm not there. I'm here. I can get to here, y'all. I have never been entertaining when, when I turn the camera on. But I can get entertaining when the camera is off, and that annoys me so much. I go to the gym and see women wear these sports bras that have, like, 10 straps. While I think it's a cool style, I wonder... Oh, I don't have um, sports bra with 10 straps. I have sports bra with one strap. <laughs> one more fun fact about me is I only wear sports bras. Um, when I was younger, I hated the feel of a regular bra and went back to sports bra and never went back. But I probably think now I like a regular bra. I just never went and bought one or three. Why is it when I get excited about a subject I'm passionate about, sometimes I get the, uh, sometimes I get accused, accu accused, oh my god, <laughs> illiterate, accused of mansplaining. Sometimes I really just like the subject and want to talk about it. I'm not being a, we don't cuss around here, guys. I just suck at social cues, and unfortunately most guys suck as well. Um, see, I've never accused you of mansplaining because... If a dude really get passionate, like, I, I've seen a dude actually mansplain before. But I feel like sometimes, women, we need to, we need to, we have to have this talk. That is why this video is called Getting Real. I need to get real with y'all. Um, some of y'all will label something as something that it's really not. You just like the word. You like the way that it sounds and the way that it's popular at the moment. Like, y'all was throwing around the word, um, what was it? It started with the N. Naturalizing, neutralizing, I don't, what was it? Um, it was the word with the end. They were throwing around that word like crazy and mansplaining. A man would just say something and they'll go, mansplain. I'm like, he did not mansplain it to you. Um, dudes, ooh, like, I don't, I, I don't know. I've hung around dudes pretty much my whole life. I don't, she doesn't, I, watch me get canceled. You can't cancel somebody who has what? Three subscribers? Can't do that. Um. Oh, we're gonna go back to me real quick. Because I just went back to the bra question by accident. Um, I'm doing things that personally make me happy for the year 2023. Happy New Year. Um, I like to journal. I like to meditate. And I like to work out. And uh, newfound dancing, I mean, newfound activity is dancing. Um, I'm trying to get better. Uh, it's like I'm trying to become a self-taught dancer because uh, this label self-taught just sounds good on anything. Self-taught chef, self-taught stripper. <laughs> it just sounds good on anything. So like, ha I have the mic. It's just down here. I thought I should point that out. It just sounds so good. Just put self-taught on anything. Self-taught pianist. We're gonna stop with the self-taught examples now. Go back to the question. I know this is gonna seem weird, but how do you control your pee stream? It's easy as a guy, but I don't know how to answer the question because it's truly left me baffled, astonished, dumbfounded. I mean, I sit. Uh, no, we just I'm skipping that question. What kind of behavior makes a guy seem creepy, creepy or unattractive? Um, really touchy, just like. And not like a friendly touch. Like, I have guy friends that are just, like, friendly touch and, like, slap. But, like, it's like a, hey, baby girl. They're just, like, really, like, close. They get your, and it's not, the thing that makes it creepy is, like, you can have a friend that does that. But if I don't know you or I don't, we're not good like that, we're not good, do not touch me. 
Handshake is fine. Maybe a dab, dab me up, um, high five, face palm, something. Do not touch me. That is something that's not my hands. Do not put your hands on my legs. Do not touch my arms. Do not slap me because my friends slap me. Um, and unattractive. Is that basically what makes a guy give you the egg? Um, what makes a guy unattractive? I don't know. I know I have reasons. I just can't think of any of them right now. For women with nipple piercings. Ooh, not me. Do women get the pee shiver? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Probably, I don't... I can't... I don't just keep that in my mind. How do we become friends with y'all? Uh, there are some women I've talked to for a few times, but I feel like we could have been the dopest friendship, like, no romantic stuff or couple stuff, but, like, we can play Smash, Super Smash Brothers all day. Um... I don't know, because I'm, people say it's really easy to become my friend, I just start talking to me every day, I guess, and not even every day, just like start talking to me on a regular basis, because I will claim you as my friend if you talk to me for like a week, and not even, it doesn't have to be every day, like, so there's this guy at my school, we didn't really talk, and then all of a sudden he, like, I saw him and he's like, yo, where's my dad at? And so I dap them up, and then after that, I, we consider us friends. Not closest friends, but we're, I'll say friends. I think I'm going to do 14, 15 questions, because there's there's a handful in here. And I want 13, so. No, I want 14. How do you deal, how did you deal with going from looking like a child to getting sexual attention in a rather short period of time? Um, I can't answer that, because look at me. I'm 15. Why should I do someone's... Why? What should I do... What should I do if someone's period stain is showing and they seem oblivious to it? Tell them, but don't be like, Yo! You had a period stain. Just be like, Yo, girl, you... Help her out or something. Like, don't... Just, also, just because... Um, yeah, tell her. Because I would be so embarrassed if I did that... That's why I don't, like, when I wear one, it's that time of the month for me, I wear the thickest clothes I have. Layers on layers. I wear sweatpants. You can you can probably tell in public, for real, because I, I think I wear the same pair of pants a lot. And because I skipped, I think, two questions, I'm going to do two more. Why do women, why do women, why do women have so many pillows? Um, I'm a cuddler. I don't know, I have three pillows. What's, the, what, I have a question for y'all. What is the, what is, what, when is it too many pillows? Um, I know, so a lot of people,